Good morning students. In this session, we are going to continue the types of hybridization. The second type of hybridization is sp2 hybridization. As we know, hybridization means intermixing of atomic orbitals. Here, one s orbital is intermixing with 2p atomic orbitals giving rise to 3 sp2 hybrid orbitals. In this sp2 hybrid orbital, the percentage of S character is 33.3 percentage and percentage of P character is 66.6 percentage. The geometry of the molecules which are possessing SP2 hybridization will be the trigonal planar geometry. And some of the examples of the molecules are BF3 and BCL3. Finally, ethene molecule that is C2H4. This is about the introduction to sp2 hybridization. Now let us consider an example by looking into the illustration. The first example is C2H4 that is ethene molecule. So when I consider an ethene molecule, the formula of this ethene molecule is C2H4. You have already came across the structure of the molecule of this ethene molecule that is this ethene molecule is possessing this structure. It has been one carbon atom is bonded with two hydrogen atom and each carbon is bonded with other carbon atom by one sigma bond and one pi bond. Finally, for one carbon atom, the number of sigma bonds are one, two and three. Three sigma bonds for one carbon atom. So, when you consider this molecule, the central atom would be carbon atom as it is present in the least number. Therefore, the first step would be the ground state electronic configuration of this carbon atom. That would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. This would be the ground state configuration. You can observe two half filled atomic orbitals are present. You may also observe there are four hydrogen atoms and when you observe the structure, each carbon atom is bonded with two hydrogen atom and one with other carbon atom. Therefore, how many bonds for each carbon atom? Three bonds for each carbon atom. For three bonds, there should be three hybrid orbitals. There are only two half filled orbitals. In order to get three half filled orbitals, we should excite the carbon atom. On excitation, the excited state electronic configuration of this carbon atom would be 2s1, 2p3. After excitation of a carbon atom, it will going to form 3sp2 hybrid orbitals. Even though there is one half filled atomic orbital, it is not involving in hybridization. Why? Because each carbon atom has only 3 bonds. Therefore, only 3 hybrid atomic orbitals will going to form. Therefore, 3 orbitals will intermix with each other to form 3sp2 hybrid orbital. Another atomic orbital which is not involved in hybridization is known as unhybridized orbital. This orbital is known as unhybridized orbital which has not been taking part in hybridization. Now these three sp2 half filled hybrid orbitals of carbon atom overlap with two half filled atomic orbitals of two hydrogen atom and other hybrid orbital of the carbon atom. So you can observe here there are three hybrid orbitals. Each carbon atom is possessing three sp2 hybrid orbitals. So out of these three sp2 hybrid orbital one of the sp2 hybrid orbital of this carbon atom will going to combine with other sp2 hybrid orbital of this carbon atom to form head on overlapping that which leads to the formation of CC sigma bond that is leading to the formation of CC sigma bond. The remaining two half filled hybrid orbitals on each carbon atom overlap with half filled atomic orbital of two hydrogen atoms to form CH sigma bond. Therefore, each carbon atom is possessing three bonds. One is CC sigma bond and other two are CH sigma bond. This is about the sp2 hybridization. And moreover, there is one unhybridized orbital which is present here. This unhybridized orbital on each carbon atom 
overlaps in a sideways manner as we know when the atomic orbitals overlaps in a sideways manner it will form pi bond therefore the unhybridized orbital of each carbon atom overlaps in a sideways manner why i have taken the dumbbell shape orbital as the p orbital is dumbbell shape the p atomic orbitals of each carbon atom which is unhybridized sideways overlapping will takes place to form pi bond therefore in between the two carbon atoms one more bond is present that is cc pi bond so this would be the structure of molecule each carbon atom is been undergoing sp2 hybridization out of three sp2 hybridized orbital each sp2 hybridized orbital of one carbon atom is overlapping with the sp2 hybrid orbital of other carbon atom to form cc sigma bond and other two sp2 hybrid orbitals of this carbon atom will overlap with the half filled atomic orbitals of hydrogen to form 2 ch sigma bond and moreover one more unhybridized orbital is present in each carbon atom these two unhybridized orbital possess in a sideways manner they overlap in a sideways manner to form cc pi bond this is how the structure of ethene molecule will be this is about the sp2 hybridization for ethene molecule now let us consider an another example that is bf3 molecule now let us consider the second example as bf3 that is boron trifluoride as we know the central atom would be boron it is present in least number therefore hybridization should be taken for boron the ground state electronic configuration of boron would be 1s2 2s2 2p1 as the atomic number is 5 you can observe here there is only one half filled atomic orbital but there are three surrounding atoms therefore the excitation of boron takes place therefore on excitation this would be the excited state electronic configuration of boron atom now you can observe here there are how many half filled atomic orbitals three half filled atomic orbitals these three half filled atomic orbitals intermix with each other to form three sp2 hybrid orbital there is one empty orbital we should not consider this orbital for hybridization only fully filled and half filled orbitals should be considered for the hybridization therefore this empty orbital should not considered for hybridization therefore there are three half filled atomic orbitals which intermix each other to give three sp2 hybrid orbitals these three sp2 hybrid orbitals which are half filled will combine with the half filled atomic orbitals of these three fluorine atoms as the fluorine atom is uh, atomic number is 9 the outermost valence shell would be the p orbital therefore the half filled p orbital of this fluorine atom will combine with the half filled hybrid orbital of this boron atom in the three dimensional you can observe here this is the boron there are three hybrid orbitals these three half filled hybrid orbital overlap with the three half filled atomic orbitals of the fluorine atom to form three bf bonds to form three bf bonds these three bf bonds are arranged in this manner the geometry of the molecule will be trigonal planar as there is no lone pair present here the geometry would be equal to shape therefore the geometry as well as the shape for this bf3 molecule would be trigonal planar shape and geometry this is about the sp2 hybridization and these are the two examples now let us move on to other type of hybridization that is sp hybridization now let us consider the third type of hybridization that is sp hybridization what do you mean by sp hybridization intermixing of 1s atomic orbital with 1p atomic orbital giving rise to 2sp hybrid orbitals so the percentage of s character is 50 percentage and percentage of p character is 50 percentage the geometry of the molecule would be linear and examples are becl2 and c2h2 c2h2 means ethene molecules so let us consider the first example as ethene molecule you have already studied this ethene molecule in hydrocarbon therefore the structure would be like this you can observe here each carbon atom 
is bonded with one hydrogen atom and one carbon atom that is sigma bond formation therefore how many sigma bonds for each carbon atom the each carbon atom possessing two sigma bonds and the central atom would be the carbon atom you may arise with the doubt that why not hydrogen as we know hydrogen cannot be a central atom for any of the molecule therefore carbon atom would be the central atom and ground state electronic configuration of this carbon atom would be 1s2 2s2 2p2 you can observe here there are two half filled atomic orbitals there are two half filled orbitals and the carbon is forming two bonds each carbon is forming two bonds but you can observe here the half filled would be two p orbitals as we know hybridization means intermixing of two different orbitals that is s and p orbitals therefore the excitation of electron takes place and excitation of electron takes place from 2s therefore the excited state electronic configuration would be like this there are four half filled atomic orbitals but we need only two half filled atomic orbitals therefore these two half filled atomic orbitals will intermix with each other to form 2 sp hybrid orbitals the other two atomic orbitals which are half filled acts as an unhybridized orbital the two half filled atomic orbitals will acts as an unhybridized orbital out of two sp hybrid orbitals of the carbon atom one of the sp hybrid orbital of the carbon atom will mix with other sp hybrid orbital of the other carbon atom to form cc sigma bond and remaining one sp hybrid orbital of the carbon atom will bond with the atomic orbital of the hydrogen to form ch sigma bond therefore you can observe here each carbon atom is possessing two hybrid orbitals that is two sp hybrid orbitals one of the sp hybrid orbital of this carbon atom will combining with other sp hybrid orbitals of other carbon atom forming one cc sigma bond and remaining one sp hybrid orbital on each carbon atom will be overlapping with the half filled atomic orbital of hydrogen to form ch sigma bond therefore this would be the structure you can observe here the carbon valency has not been satisfied in order to satisfy the carbon valency you can observe here there are two unhybridized orbitals on each carbon atom these two unhybridized orbital on each carbon atom overlaps in a sideways manner if the orbitals overlaps in a sideways manner it will leads to the formation of pi bond there are two unhybridized orbital therefore leading to the formation of two pi bonds between two carbon atoms so this will be the structure of ethyne molecule and this is how the hybridization will going for the ethyne molecule now let us consider an another example as beryllium chloride so in this example beryllium would be the central atom therefore the ground state electronic configuration of this beryllium atom would be 1s2 2s2 as the atomic number is 4 you can observe here the surrounding atoms are 2 but there are no half filled atomic orbitals here in order to get the half filled atomic orbitals again the excitation of electron takes place from 2s orbital to 2p orbitals on excitation the electronic configuration of beryllium would be 2s1 2p1 as there are only two chlorine atoms the two half filled atomic orbitals intermix with each other to form two sp hybrid orbitals these two sp hybrid orbitals will overlap with the half filled atomic orbitals of the chlorine as the chlorine is possessing its valence electrons in the p orbital the p orbital would be half filled atomic orbital that is valential atomic orbital therefore the two sp hybrid orbital will overlap with the atomic orbital of this chlorine atom to form becl sigma bond how many becl sigma bond two becl sigma bond in three dimensional structure there are two sp hybrid orbitals 
each sp hybrid orbital will overlap with the half filled atomic orbital of chlorine p as chlorine is possessing its valence electron in the p atomic orbital the shape is dumbbell shape therefore the overlapping of hybrid orbital with the atomic orbital of chlorine takes place to form BeCl sigma bond. This would be the shape that is linear shape and it is the geometry of the molecule as it is not possessing any lone pair the shape will be equal to the geometry and the bond angle would be 180 degree. This is about the BeCl2 molecule and this is about sp hybridization. This is about sp3, sp2 and sp hybridization and the other two hybridization are sp3 dehybridization and sp3 d2 hybridization what do you mean by sp3 d the intermixing of 1s 3p and 1d orbital to form 5 sp3 d hybrid orbitals generally the geometry would be trigonal bipyramidal geometry for that molecules and for that examples are pcl5 molecule and the other type of hybridization is sp3 d2 hybridization 1s 3p and 2d atomic orbitals combined to form 6 sp3 d2 hybrid orbitals the geometry would be the octahedral geometry and example is sf6 you will going to learn in detail about sp3 d and sp3 d2 in your higher classes for time being it's very important sp sp2 and sp3 hybridization this is about the concept of hybridization and types of hybridization. In the next session, you are going to discuss about the molecular orbital theory, one more important topic in chemical bonding.